Hey GED students, um, it's GED question of the daytime, and it looks like we've got another scatter plot here, so let's go ahead and read about it. It says a teacher hypothesized that college graduates who are skilled at algebra make more money than those with less algebra skills, right? Your teachers are always telling you that, right? So um, in order to test her hypothesis, she administered an algebra test to 100 working adults who had graduated college in the last five to 10 years and plotted the results on the scatter plot below. Which of the following conclusions could the teacher make based on her data? So remember that using a scatter plot allows us to look for correlation, relationship between variables. So in this case, we're trying to see if our algebra test scores are related to our annual income and this is five to 10 years past the time they were in school. So it's not their algebra test scores in school, it's how much algebra they remember. So um, the interesting thing is what we usually try to do when we have a scatter plot is to draw a line of best fit, a line that kind of models what the data is doing that we think like goes straight through the center of the data. And this data is interesting because um, like, I, I don't know where to draw a line. I'm like, is it kind of going up? Or um, I could feel like I could just as easily go through here and go through the center of the data, or even just flat line. That data is so scattered and so without a pattern that I would really hesitate to draw a line of best fit here. Now, is there a better way to do this um, correlation than on a scatter plot? Yeah, if you really weren't sure, there's um, a math concept called a co correlation coefficient that you could figure out and decide if it was enough. But this is all I've been given. I haven't been given the numbers. I haven't been given the points. I won't ever have to find a correlation coefficient on the GED. That's in higher math. All I would ever be faced with is this scatter plot. And I got to tell you, this data is so all over the place. I can't really draw a line of best fit. I'm going to just go ahead and say that I can't find correlation off this graph. Okay, so let's go ahead and look through these um, these uh, selections. A says the data supports her hypothesis. There is a positive correlation between algebra and income. There would only be a positive correlation if I could find a line of best fit that was going up, and I couldn't. Um, B, the data refutes her hypothesis. There is a negative correlation between algebra and income, meaning the better you are at algebra, the less your money you're going to make. I would assume that there was a negative correlation if I had a line of best fit going down. I don't see that either. I really couldn't draw a line of best fit. And so C here says the data refutes her hypothesis. And I'm sorry that it's a little hard to read with the way my Facebook is showing, but there appears to be, oh my goodness, we have to find a better way to look at this. There we go. There appears to be little to no correlation between algebra and income. The data refutes, I'm just reading C, guys. I'm sorry, I had to get out of my uh, screen to see it. But the data refutes her hypothesis. We're not seeing correlation here, um, at least not based on the graph we've been given, the data we've been given. And so um, C would be the correct answer here. Pretty tricky. All right, if you have any questions about this, be sure to let me know. Drop them in the comments, and I'll, I'll do my very best to answer.